Come on, Frank. Come back to me. Come on. Oh, God, I should have seen it all along. Your, your strength, your kindness, the feeling of safety I have when I'm with you. Come on, damn it. Come on. Oh, I fell in love with the Avatar because I fell in love with you, Frank. Come on, it was you all along, Frank. Come on. Come on, breathe, damn it. Breathe. and Ray flying there so, so still and quiet. Well, I guess it's all over now. At least the Avatar's dead. Yeah, well, I hope he burns in hell. Well, I think the most important thing is that it's all over. Hey, Ellie. Do you really believe it? Yeah, I don't. I really don't think that anybody could have survived a fire like that. No, no, no. Hard. No, I, I'm talking about what you, what you said about your, your heart being connected to your soul. I believe what you do comes back to you. Are you okay? Um, she came. I called. Come here, sit down. I, I, are you okay? I am not okay, Ellie. Far from it. You and I need to have a talk. Could it wait? We've really, we've all been through a lot. No, it, it can't wait. Okay, it sounds serious. It is. I've kept quiet until now because I know how much Libby wants this marriage to work. You're her father, and, and you have a right to be worried about her. Humor me. I know how much Libby loves you. She almost died trying to save you I from know, this fire. I know, I'm grateful for that. Is that what you feel for her? Gratitude? She's my wife. She's carrying my child. But what are you doing for her, Rafe? I need to know if my daughter's risking everything for nothing. Now, if you can't tell Libby the truth, I'm giving you the chance to tell me the truth. Do you love my daughter? sick of this machine. I might just chuck it out the window next time I see you. Anyway, uh, in case you haven't noticed, you're uh, kind of late for our date, which is kind of freaking me out because you're like the queen of on time. Anyway, I just heard that uh, Lancelot got burned up in a fire. I hope you're not too upset about it. <sighs> I'm worried about you, Karen. I can't wait to see you, which has been happening a lot lately. Where are you, Karen? I can't believe you knew I was the Avatar. I would know you anywhere, Frank. And you risk your life to save me. Like you did for me once. But I have so many questions about what happened to you. Like, how did you come to have these powers or, or whatever they are? I wanted to tell you so many times. 
He figured it out already. I guess it just proves how strong it is. What's still between us? How did it start, Frank? After you left me, I threw myself into work to try to forget. I was finishing a, a late shift one night at the hospital, heading to the lockers. I got this feeling I wasn't alone. And I, I turned and I caught just the faintest glimpse of this shadow on the wall coming right at me. And then suddenly there was this shrouded figure standing in front of me. And then he spoke to me. Are you a just man? And it was as if it read my mind, my heart. Yes. I am justice, the avenger of all those who suffer. What do you want with me? Will you become one with me? Fight my fight. I will. And then it seemed to move right through me. I felt this amazing jolt of strength. So the Avatar gave you his powers? He gave me a great gift, Karen. And you weren't afraid to, to go out there in the streets risking your life? He gave me back my life. It was like I had been searching for something that was just beyond my reach. And now you've found your purpose. Ever since that day, I have been charged with this incredible mission. I know what I'm supposed to do. And since you saved me, I can do more, Karen. I can do so much more. Get ready to believe in miracles. Dad, bring the heat. Oh, my God! Now on Disney DVD and video, the inspirational true story... You the Olga? I'm the Olga. ...of an ordinary... Are Outrageous. Reality's heightened a little bit. Romance. Passion. Fantasy. Very beautiful people. Have problems. And great clothes. The clothes. Great clothes. Exactly. You need to get some rest, Frank. You nearly died. I can't rest until I make you really understand what has happened to me. But I do understand. And it was amazing. What's important right now is that you take care of yourself, okay? Just rest for a little while. I'll, I'll be right here with you. Can I? Come here. Look at me. I want you to understand. I am a changed man. I did some awful things to you. Because of all the things you saw when you were a kid, your mother, that man, all those terrible memories you kept bottled inside. But it made me lash out at you and hurt you. And I understood why. But it still hurt. And then I, I thought I could handle those memories, but I couldn't until I took on the power of the Avatar. Then... Then I felt healed. It's like all that doubt and pain are gone from your eyes. Because that man who said those terrible things to you and wanted to punish you is gone, Karen, vanished. And a better, stronger man has taken his place. I didn't know how to help you, Frank. All I could do is watch you drift away, and it just broke my heart. Maybe I had to go through what I did to get back to where I am now, to be the man the Avatar chose. And he did choose me, Karen, me. Oh, that's because you're an honorable man. A man who's kind and, and helps women, and even went back in time to right a wrong and bring me back home. You're the man I felt. Well, you don't know how good it finally feels to be able to talk to you like this. To share what I've been through. The spirit tapped into the strongest part of you. You've always seen that part of me, Karen. But there are others who still don't believe. 
who won't ever understand. I only tried to help people, people who needed me. Ian and Rafe tried to trap me. They tried to hurt me. Uh, that's because they were scared with everything they've been through. I can't let them stop me, Karen. I have to stop them first. And I will. I admit, I don't remember our love story the way Livy does, but since I lost my memory. How's your memory now? Look, I, I know how wonderful and loving Livy's been to me. I know that she believes in me and she trusts that I, I'm going to be there to take care of her. <laughs> it's a simple question, Rafe. It's a question that any newlywed, any man whose wife is carrying his child okay, would be I, able I to have answer. I tried to tell you. Well, that your answer is poetic. But it doesn't fly. I made a promise, and I'm going to keep it, OK? My daughter deserves to be loved. She needs stability, Rafe. She craves it. She needs it in her life, because her mother and her aunt were never dependable. And God knows I was never there. Oh, well, just because you weren't there for it doesn't mean I won't. Look, if you can't give her her whole heart, then let her go, Rafe. Don't let her die trying to prove herself to you. Not even giving us a chance. Okay, you're talking as if Livy and I are strangers, and okay, maybe it feels that way a little bit, but but I am trying. And I know how, how screwed up her family is, and I know that being loved for her is as important as the air she breathes, okay? But my daughter's not like other women. I mean, she's done things that a reasonable person would believe were crazy. That's what you want to say, right? That's what you're thinking. That, that, that's what you're, you're really worried about. You, you think Libby is this broken, fragile flower who's going to end up in an institution just like her mother, right? Okay, well, you know what? I'm not going to let that happen. And whether I have your approval or not, I am Libby's husband. And I'm going to take care of her. So, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go take my wife home. Okay. Mr. Kovic. Yeah, I just need a couple of minutes. Sure. I guess the reality of, of what could have happened just suddenly hit me. We all could have died. Me and Rafe and the baby and, and you. Yeah. Well, it's a really good thing then that everybody's okay, all of us. Why suddenly? I feel really, really tired, even too weak to move. When's the last time you ate? I don't, I don't know, a long time ago, I guess. Okay, that's, that's not good. I used to never have to worry about, about eating, but, but now I, I have to worry, because of this baby, I have to worry about eating and staying healthy, because this life is so precious. Why don't you take some of this? It's not... It's not very big, but it's got a lot of carbs and protein and stuff in that one. It's pretty good. What? I just, I forgot about your secret stash. You laugh, but I can remember <laughs> several times that you stole these out of my purse. Go ahead. Yeah, well, you always came to my rescue. You came to my rescue a few times that I can remember, too. Share? That's so weird. <laughs> it's kind of like we were just friends. 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 You know, I, I always used to think about getting married and us having kids and, and our kids playing with each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Running into that house, yelling, Aunt Livy, Aunt Allison. <laughs> Voting you the, the second one of them would say mommy or, <laughs> or sprouted a tooth or something. <laughs> yeah. I always thought that we'd be friends forever. Me too. I always thought you would be my best friend. I tell you, Mary, the man that I love. Did it for one second give you the slightest bit of guilt? 
Were you just running so fast to the altar you couldn't even think about it? Allison, I know you're never gonna forgive me. And I know how much you love him, and I am not stupid. I can see the way he looks at you. But doesn't this innocent child have the right to be raised by both of its parents? Don't do this to me. I have to, because you can rip apart my dreams and this child's future. You can so easily just go after Rafe and get him. And I'm not asking you to do this for me, but do it for the baby, the baby that he has already learned to love, please. Please don't do this. Do you love him? Enough to let him stay with his family. Ellie, do you love him enough to walk away? Hey, Bert. No matter what you think, it's not up to me whether or not to let me go. No, Allison. I need to save my marriage because of this baby. And Rafe needs to save his soul. What are you talking about? He came back to this earth in human form for a reason. And I think that was to marry me and to have this baby. That was your doing. Rafe needs to make his own choices and his own destiny. Yeah, what about this child's destiny? Don't you think it's connected to Rafe's? This is the first real thing Rafe has ever had. Libby, how you feeling? I'm fine. I, I, I'm fine. I was just thanking Allison for for saving our lives and for for putting this child before her concerns. We're, we're both really grateful. I mean, if anything had happened to this baby, I... well, just just thanks. Yeah, um, yeah. Maybe, maybe I should get you home, okay? Yeah, right, right. Um, hey, Ellie, think about what I said, please. A soul without love is a lost soul. What about this baby's destiny? Don't you think it's connected to rapes? I need all of my daughter's medical records pulled right away. Livy Kovic. Yes, it's important. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy. Take it easy. I got it. Just tell me, please. Okay. Okay. I'm tighter, please. Okay. All right. I'm so sorry this happened. No, 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 no. Okay. It's my fault. I got care of this. It's just that I, I love you. I love you so much. And I would fall apart if I ever lost you. You know what? It's not gonna happen. Because you are my wife. And we made a life together. And we're making a life together. And, um... I love you. I don't understand why Ian and Rafe are trying to stop me after all the good I've done. I guess they think sometimes you've been a little overzealous. But I've had to. I... I can't let them stand in my way. You don't have to do this, Frank. Karen, I have been given a sacred trust. I have to finish what I started. But everybody thinks the Avatar is dead, don't you see? It's over. You don't have to prove anything to anybody. And now you and me are back together where we belong. Yes. But they have to be taught a lesson. No. Revenge is never the answer. Sh shouldn't finding each other be enough after all the time we've wasted? It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Frank. Frank. It's just us. 
way it's supposed to be. Karen, it's always been you. I want you so much. There's something I really need to know. When you said you loved me, did you mean it? Hello, Ricardo. Frank, anything I can do for you. Did you miss any of Port Charles this week? Be there for the SoapNet Marathon of all this week's Port Charles episodes, Saturday at 3.30 p.m. Log on to SoapNet.com for your complete schedule. SoapNet, soap watching made easy.